So I've been trying many different note-taking apps this year, but I totally fell for these two combined, Notion and Obsidian. And in this video, I go to share how I use them both in order to get the best out of them so you can get the perfect app for effortless note-taking. As I said in the video about Notion, I view it as a giant sidebar. It's a perfect app for tracking and updating projects and metrics. You can easily access your notes both on the sidebar and within pages. And of course, if we talk about Notion, we must talk about databases. If you have any note that is associated with some kind of process or some categorization, databases are amazing for this. It becomes like an advanced task manager in a way, which Notion also is, by the way. Other than that, you can make free web pages, connect to various other apps, save notes effortlessly on the web, and so on. It's a collaborative app that you can use for your teams, and even AI is coming soon, so men will not be alone in that. But Notion has some minor drawbacks. It does not have an automatic daily note feature, and most of all, it's not conducive to creating many, many notes. Either they all end up in one page or just on the sidebar in which there is no timeline function, so you have to scroll all the way down. Like, imagine if I have my 4,000 notes from Mem and import them all to Notion and see all of them here, it would be a lot of scrolling. So you can quickly see while they're not scaling. But this is where Obsidian comes in. In Obsidian it's a little different. Here you're encouraged to create lots and lots of notes freely. You can create notes on the fly with the two square brackets and they're even handy on the phone too. And compared to Notion, there's a timeline feature on the sidebar which allows you to quickly go back to your latest viewed notes aside from favorites. So no matter how many notes you create, you'll always show up the latest. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can just roam around the graph and explore all the links which of course Obsidian is the best at, combined with the writing as well. Finally, Obsidian has a daily note feature and all they have to sort of recall it through the command palette is still works perfectly fine in my opinion. This presents us with two complementary note-taking apps that complement each other's weaknesses. So what does it mean from a practical standpoint? As I've said previously, Notion is a big sidebar where I track things such as these YouTube videos, my gym progress, my work and all that stuff. But in Obsidian, here is where my creativity is roaming around for free. This is where my entire library resides. And it's very simple to type whenever an idea suddenly pops up and branching off the various possibilities from there. So in a way, Obsidian is your second brain, but Notion is your very advanced working memory, if that makes sense. With everything you interact with at hand, both of them work extraordinarily well, which is why I believe that these are the best note-taking solution right now.